Hi Intune friends! In today's video we're going to see how you can copy the content of a package if you want to see what's in it. So let's do it scenario based. Let's say for example um, this one here, Microsoft CM Trace. That was a package that was done by someone else in my company and that person left and the source files are on that uh, machine. We don't have the source file. So we basically just know that uh, there is an Intune win file, but yeah, I mean, it's this one here. Uh, I We don't know what's in this one. So le let's find out what's in there. And I got this from uh, X post, well, previously Twitter. I don't know how long we can continue to say that. And he showed that you just need to change one line uh, using Robocopy. So we, well, let's do that. Well, we can stay here. Well, let, let me go from the beginning. So you are in IntuneMicrosoft.com. You go Apps. Since this only works for Windows app, let's click Windows and take any of your apps. Then we can go Properties, where the program is. So instead of running the program to install it, we just want the files. So I'm going to do a Control A, Control X. So now it's gone. I'm going to open... Um, uh, notepad plus plus I'm gonna paste it in there because I want it back to install status after just for now what we run here is Robocopy this Robocopy is an advanced copy function before it exists copy and X copy well it still exists but they have limitation Robocopy come from NT4 resource kit in the 90s so very old how I remember the name it's not that difficult but Robocop was a movie in the 80s 1987 and they redid it in uh, 2014 with a Swedish lead um, so Robocop eh? and this one if we follow the X post we do a dot that means Whatever install files existed in this Intune Win file, Rob copy that. What should it copy? Dot. That means from where it is. And where do you want it? Well, I'm going to deploy it to this machine. So I'm going to uh, do a C colon because I know it got the C colon. And I'm going to call this GBN Intune, Intune uh, Win Files. And since this is a CM trace, I'm going to call it. No, we can do that under here, uh, CM trace. I don't have this folder on my uh, computer, but if it doesn't exist, Robocopy is going to fix it. So we could leave it like this. However, as seen in this uh, post on X, a guy said that you have to add an extra switch. Um, the one here is a bit it works but you can do it with just a simple e uh, let, let's um, open an old cmd here we don't have to be admin and we just run robo copy which stands for robust file copy nothing robotic robust and uh, let's do a question mark here and we get the help so we'll see here uh, da, da, da. wow a lot of switches Robocopy, robust file copy, yes, for Windows. Uh, so we have E. E means copy sub uh, directories or subfolders. So if you don't have any, which the original post, usually you don't. But if you have, you need to do uh, for slash E. I mean, S would also, but empty ones usually don't have empty. I forgot what, oh, he had mirror the. Um, that would also work. It's the same as E and purge, but we don't need to purge anything. So forward slash E is fine. You can do forward slash mirror would work also. So if we run this, that should be it. So I'm going to save this now. The only reason why this would not work would be if this have already been installed on the machine, then it's not going to let install again. If that's your case, then just change the detection rules or something. Obviously, when I'm running it, it's going to fail, but that's fine because I just want to copy the files. So I'm going to open up um, company portal. I'm going to sync because I forgot to show that, but 
uh, this one is available for enrolled all users so I should be able to see this in company portal I just hope it's not been uh, installed already and all the software you see in here I have videos for here is CM Trace. let's see hope it's not says installed perfect um, I'm gonna do a little sync just to be sure that it have the latest information so it doesn't remember the old so it's actually installed CM Trace. So let's run this now. Well, install. And let me put up this one. And after a while. Oh, it says installed because it was already installed. Okay. Um, that's fine. I'm going to tell it to reinstall. So I already had this installed. For some reason, I didn't saw it in the log here. So then I'll have to do the the part with the detection policy so it's it's detecting the file here I'm just gonna temporarily put uh, CM trace 2 or something and then it's gonna say hey it's not there save and I'll do another sync okay the sync is ready let's see if uh, this one have understood it's not always that quick so now we say install hopefully it's running this time and don't say already installed no now it says installing so it's downloading to another directory and then it's going to copy it installing and it's going to fail that's normal so when we see it's fail why but because the detection method is looking for a file who this package doesn't do this just copy the file oh here it is it was created one minute ago so failed totally fine and here are the files cm trace two files so the cm trace and the script that we have done in another video two years ago we can open it up so yeah it was in october uh, so nearly exactly two years ago i'm recording this on the third october uh, Am I three years ago? Did I say two years ago? I mean three years ago. Wow, time flies. Feels like yesterday. Okay, this one we want to put back because we want to repair back the package now. So now let's say someone else had packaged that, uh, this package. Well, it was me, but imagine it's someone who left your company. You copy this and now you have the files. You can modify the, whatever you want, repackage and send it up again. Um, yes. So nothing more really to look uh, for this video. I just put back everything as it was. So uh, detection rule, I did something stupid like adding a two just so it doesn't become true because then it will not run. And program changed back to this. So we had the robocopy uh, to copy all it's the dot, where should the files go? And the forward slash E was to copy subfolders. I didn't have any subfolders, but I couldn't know. Uh, seeing installation time is 60 minutes. I think when I created that didn't exist, but uh, 20 minutes is more than enough. Uh, the rest looks good. Save. Uh, 21H1 existed back then. Uh, CM trace makes sense. Okay. So that's how you copy files from your packages if you don't have them or need them that's a quick fix so thank you very much for taking time to look at this video see you in another one have a great day